heard you saying that this team at this point needs drastic changes. I guess what does that mean to you and what do you think it back to look like? Um well I just think, you know, people have to play with the best since urgency. I think coming out the gates is just too lethargic. I think people just think, you know, teams aren't gonna attack us like just because I think they're thinking what was me instead of just like we gotta fight out this rut. It's it's not nobody else gonna do it for us. I mean, do you feel like there is this I guess ten of eleven now maybe is weighing on these guys a little bit that, that just guys are playing with a little bit of extra burden that maybe they don't need just because they're thinking a lot about Oh yeah, for sure. I mean everybody's human, you know, losses take their toll on anybody, but at the same time, uh this is what every guy signed up for. That, you know, we have to be ready to play night in and night out. Um it's you know, it's just it's just about not having a conscience. You have to go out there and shoot like the next one's going in and play like you know, the next one's a win. You know, you just can't go out there and just lay down. What, what grade would you give you guys effort-wise today? It didn't seem like it was good. I'm curious. Your no, it wasn't good at all. Um, I mean, grade-wise, you know, I was like D, F. But, you know, it just wasn't good. Uh, I don't think, you know, guys were really – I think there was – I'll take that back. I think there was runs in there where we were really fighting. We were uh, – we got it down to five. We were uh, really together. Uh, that's – I think we were together the whole time. I just think, you know, when you see, like, all the bank threes go in, then they should keep hitting threes. Even when your hand is there, you know, it just takes the souls on guys. It's just like you can't get anything, get a stop or anything. But at the same time, it's those times when you have to uh, rally troops and really buckle down. You've been through some down times before here. I mean, what can you take from those times to maybe apply to now to get you guys back on track? Um, like I said earlier, you just have to fight like the next one's a win. Um, I think that's what really held us together uh, back then in those down times. You know, we take a bad loss and we just had to get back to drawing bro, uh, the drawing board, make sure everybody's uh, going hard in practice. Um, you know, just everybody's getting everything done that they need to be, and then just be ready to fight on the next one. I think, I think it's on each one to really think about it themselves and look in the mirror and say, what do I need to do to help the team? But at the same time, it's on us um, at the top, like uh, the coaches and the leaders, just to, myself and Zach, just to really get everybody together and. Let them know what is uh, needed of each one of them. So is it leading by example, leading by by words, a little bit of both? It's just leading. You know, uh, there's you can't really put anything on that. It's just you know making sure everybody knows exactly what's expected of them, and then showing them the way. Has that been said yet? It, previously, has have, have guys been sat down individually or talked to individually? And yeah, said, definitely. This? But um, it's just you know every guy is different. Um, you, some guys take it differently than others. But at the same time, you just have to try and find each guy's like way to talk to them and uh, try to get that out of them, you know, uh, as much as losing sucks, um, it's only going to keep happening if guys don't really uh, wake up to ready to fight. Juwan. I'm going to let him go now. Thanks. 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 Thanks.